Hello and welcome to Ubuntu Videocast. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install a antivirus proxy. Um, we're using the product HAVP and with this one um, we can um, set up our clients to browse the internet and everything that goes through this par proxy will be filtered and look for viruses or malicious software and uh, another nice thing you can do with this proxy is you can uh, basically um, whitelist and blacklist websites so if you use blacklist um, let's say you go and blacklist microsoft.com you can uh, browse the website and then you're getting a message on your um, browser that this website is being blacklisted by your system administrator so that's uh, with this little nice uh, blacklisting, you can um, deny website access. For example, if you have a, a company network and you don't want to have people go to Facebook or MySpace or something like that, you just add those in the blacklist and they're not able to go there anymore. So, all right, let's get started and install HAVP. So, um, right here on my server, and then I'll uh, enter sudo apt-get install. HAVP, hit enter, then it asks for the password. We'll enter that. There we go. And see, HAVP has a lot of uh, dependencies, and um, as you can see right here, it uh, utilizes CLAM AV as the virus scanner. Um, and we just accept all those um, requirements and hit Y, and enter yes, uh, enter. So now it's downloading all those packages. I think it's about yeah six packages. So it shouldn't take that long. I think one of the biggest one is the Clam AV. There we go. And now it's installing all those packages. Configuring the package. Alright, that is done and it failed here on my system. And uh, we can ignore this because I'm going. Just, I just wanted to show you how to install that and now I am basically go over to my other system where I have it already running. There's not a lot to do, just install it and then do uh, a few configuration steps. Alright, let's go over to my other system and set that. Okay. And then after this one is installed, you go into the uh, configuration file that's under etc havp and then the havp.conf. Let's go in here, enter your password again. Whoops. Let's try that again. Here we go. Okay, when you uh, first time um, open up the configuration file, you want to probably read all those comments in there and it gives you a nice idea of what all those options will do so and most of the uh, options here uh, are good by default so we don't have to change a lot uh, let's go further down here until we see the first one I uh, uncomment and then um, go from there your find address this is a uh, somewhat important. Um, you want to um, enter the address of the network card that, or, uh, yeah, the IP address of the network card that the proxy should listen to. For example, if you have a machine that sits in between the internet and your local network and uh, has two network cards, one has the internal address, one has the external address, and you basically tell them here on which address it should listen. 
further down. And then basically here, we go ahead and enable the uh, Climb AB scanner. So we enable uncommon this one and set it to true. And then basically um, here you can uh, tell Climb AV to, uh, yeah, how to um, act on certain conditions. Like here when a um, block is broken on the download, if it uh, if it's not executable, um, should it scan it or not, and you just enable this here. And then if it should scan encrypted archives, um, you can enable this here, or by default it's disabled. Go further down here. Let's get out of here, and then let's show you guys what is in this directory. In this HAPP configuration directory, you have a blacklist and a uh, whitelist uh, file as well. Let's have a quick look at that one, at those ones. Alright, open up the blacklist and then we go all the way to the bottom and add uh, www.microsoft.com um, With this I will demonstrate how the blacklist actually will work so if you hit microsoft.com in a web browser um, you're getting a page displayed that um, this site is being blacklisted by your system administrator Then you have other options you can use here you can, uh, blacklist entire domain or certain websites or even um, pictures or uh, other content of a website like yeah, like WAV files or Windows media files or what whatever there might be uh, let's save that and get out of here and then we go ahead and open up the whitelist. And here you can do basically the same thing, whitelist all the URLs and files and so on. And let's go all the way to the bottom and remove uh, uh, Microsoft.com because we blacklisted it and now we're whitelisting it again. Uh, wouldn't, make sense, wouldn't make sense and wouldn't work very well. So let's do that and save this. And then um, let's go into the uh, templates folder and I will show you what's up with this one. All right, there's a subfolder structure with all the languages. Let's go to uh, English. And here you see um, basically the web pages that will be displayed if those conditions um, match. Like if there's something blacklisted you want to see, then your blacklist.html gets displayed and so on. And you can um, basically um, modify it to your needs. You put your logo on it and your content and so on. Alright, we're done here. Let's um, go ahead and restart our proxy server. Might take a second. Okay, done. Now change to the web browser and um, let's open up Microsoft.com. Well, no, first let's verify that we have the proxy set. All right, here we go. Sonic and port 8080, and let's open up now Microsoft.com. There we go says access denied. There you go, that's basically my modification on that blacklist.html file. And then we can go ahead and um, check the if the antivirus part is working. Let's Google for ACAR virus. <coughs> you know, that's a, basically a designed virus for testing antivirus software. So we can go ahead and click on the com file. There we go. Detected ACAR test virus signature. It's being blocked here. And then let's take a test a zip file as well. There we go. Even zip files will be scanned and being blocked. 
Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a need for using this and please let me know if you have any comments or suggestions for me and please visit my website www.ubuntupdcast.com. Thank you very much and see you next time. Thank you.